Hindustan Aeronautics has started the design and development work on Tejas Max cockpit that will act as the mothership platform with embedded air teaming intelligence concepts that will demonstrate the fully autonomous wingman platforms and swarming of drones to engage in combat mission in the next four years. The Tejas Max will be based on a twin-seater Tejas aircraft that will have a highly modified second cockpit to act as command and control post for the CATS Warrior Low Observable Unmanned Wingman, CATS Hunter Air Launched Cruise Missile and CATS Alpha Loitering Munition. <laughs> Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has said that the BrahMos NG cruise missile will complete its trials in 2023 and the new generation of the BrahMos cruise missile will be produced at a facility near Lucknow. The Indian Air Force has confirmed its interest in procuring 400 BrahMos NG missiles costing around 8,000 crore rupees that will be delivered in the next five years, and discussions are on with the Indian Army and Navy for such orders, and the venture is also seeing the possibility of additional export orders to foreign countries worth 10,000 crore rupees in the next five years, taking the total anticipated order amount to about 42,000 crore rupees. The Indian Army has shortlisted three private sector enterprises for its RoboMule requirement, that includes Gridbots Technologies Private Limited, J Robotics Private Limited, and Kaya Virtualization Tech Private Limited. The scope of work includes development of RoboMule robotic platform with battery, touchscreen tough pad based command and control system with wireless communication, navigation control and battery, complete application software for the RoboMule and command and control system, and individual sensors like infrared cameras and sensors, light detection and ranging, GPS sensor, motor encoders, that will be integrated onto the platform and command and control system. The Indian Air Force is set to issue a request for proposal to five startup firms for swarm drones, which are capable of both kinetic power and load carrying capabilities. The request for proposal will be issued for two sets of swarm drones that will cost about 100 crores, and the top five contenders include New Space Research and Technologies, Vader Defense Systems Private Limited, Rafi Fibra Private Limited, Doxa Unmanned Systems Private Limited and Flare Unmanned Systems Private Limited. The selected firm will get assistance from the Air Force's base repair depots, so that more complex systems can be developed. Two core engines of the indigenous 25 kN HTFE 25 turbofan engine was built by Hindustan Aeronautics, and they have completed sea level trials successfully, and their performance was found to be satisfactory. One technology demonstrator of the HTFE 1200 was also built, and it has also completed the sea level trials of the core engine successfully, that will be used to power 3.5-ton single-engine class helicopters. The Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has released a new order, under which the Indian Armed Forces have been given additional financial powers for revenue purchases, that will overcome procedural delays and will bring operational efficiency. The financial powers of Vice Chief of Services have been increased by 10%, and the new order also has an enabling provision for emergency financial powers to field formations below command level. A new schedule on hiring of aircraft and associated equipment has been introduced for the Air Force, that includes hiring of mid-air refuelers. Mauritius will procure one Hindustan 228 commercial aircraft under the Government of India line of credit, and the aircraft has recently carried out a successful ground run and low-speed taxi trials for type certification by the Directorate General of Civil Aviation. It is equipped with a digital cockpit which will ensure accurate readings, and features auto-check capability to alert pilots in emergencies. 
At a time when Turkey has become the most active international supporter of Pakistan, a stealth frigate of the Indian Navy has carried out a joint exercise with the frontline warship of the Egyptian Navy in the Mediterranean Sea, that included drills for transit through asymmetric threat environment, operations for interdicting suspect vessels, as well as cross-deck helicopter operations that involved helo recovery procedures and airborne light replenishment. Thank <laughs> you.